My name is Julie Asti. I'm a certified financial planner with Asti Financial Management and today I'm going to talk about how to design a savings plan. The first thing you want to do in trying to design a savings plan is to first create a working budget because you want to make sure that after as your income comes in and you've paid all of your fixed and your variable expenses that you have some money that you can actually dedicate to a savings plan. So the first step is definitely going to be able to create a working budget that provides you with hopefully positive cash flow in which you can start a savings plan. When you're looking at a savings plan, um, one of the things that you're going to need to ask yourself is what are you saving for? And there really can be three main types of goals. The, for, the three goals are really based on time periods, short-term goals, intermediate-term goals, and then longer-term goals. Short-term goals are those that would be um, accomplished anywhere from, from you know, currently a goal that you're saving for in the next couple of months to something that would be in the next three years. So it's kind of zero to three years is a short-term goal. An intermediate goal would probably go anywhere from three to ten years. Maybe that's um, purchasing a car in five years or buying a house in seven years. And then a longer-term goal um, is going to be anything ten years plus. Maybe buying a vacation home when you're 50 or being able to retire securely. Those would be the three types of, of goals that you would have that you would be trying to create a savings plan for. In terms of looking at the three different types of goals, um, it's important to note that if you're saving for a short-term goal, I would highly recommend that you invest that money liquid. And by liquid, I mean investing it into um, a high-yielding money market account checking account, savings account, something that's going to be safe, it's going to be liquid, you're going to have 100% guarantee of principal, and it's hopefully going to be um, FDIC insured, which means you're, it's going to be invested at a banking institution. Because for a short-term goal, you want to make sure when you're ready to actually purchase that goal or you have the money now saved to, to um, enact that goal, you want to make sure you have 100% of the money that you originally saved for that goal. For intermediate or long-term goals, that's money that you can actually invest in mutual funds, um, stocks, or investment accounts because on those types of assets, you want to have a growth rate. You want to have a higher rate of return. Um, Short-term goals, savings accounts are probably going to return anywhere from 1% to maybe 3 or 4%. Hopefully, over the long term, um, investments in the stock market are going to return anywhere from maybe 5 to 10%, depending on your risk tolerance and the portfolio that you've chosen to put together. But those, you can take a little bit more risk because you need to get a little bit more return in order to reach those goals over the long term. And that would be how to create a savings plan for your short, intermediate, or long-term goals. My name is Julie Asti. I'm a certified financial planner with Asti Financial Management, and you can learn more about my services and my company at www.astifinancial.com.